You have it. Allah has given it to us. He's telling us in the Quran, He's given you a deen. He said, Lee Zayn Hira who Allah be in a kulli is to master, overcome and supersede every other deen, every other way of life. Whether it be Judaism, Hinduism, Buddhism, Christianism, Communism, every ism, Islam is destined to master them all. Swallow Kari and Kali Rule, no man Hamadi and the Hajjim. And he repeats the same formula in the Quran again. And he ends by saying, Wala ukari al mushrikun. Now my husband mushrik might not like it. This is the destiny of the team. And he repeats the same formula again in the Quran three times. So who Allah the Arsala Rasulah who will Buddha? He it is who has sent his messenger with guidance. But in the heart and in the religion of truth, he is here who Allah the Kulli that he will prevail, overcome and supersede every other deen, bulldoze them all. Waqafatullah. Nabi Allah is a witness to this fact that is going to make his deen to prevail with you or without you. But we human rubbish, I said all of you, you and me, Allah is giving us that opportunity to serve his deen, do a prophet's God and earn a prophet's reward. Allah has given you the answer, solution to the problem. Help them and by helping them you help yourself. Change them and you change the world. The knowledge of Islam, the knowledge of God will rise from the West. And this nation is hungry. They go for anything. Anything goes here. They worship Sun Moon. They worship Guru Maharaj, Swami Parvupada. They worship uh, the Maharishi. They worship Father Divine. They used to worship his dead man. Father Divine. They are, they have the Satan worshipping cults here. Anything, everything. The nation is hungry. He's frustrated. He doesn't know what to do. They see all the food around them. They don't know what to do. Anything that comes across, they grab. What's wrong with you? I said, there's something wrong with you, you Muslim. Two million here. Oh, like emasculated people. Wallah, now you get such inferiority complexes. Beyond imagination. In this country here, the most advanced country on earth, civilized with all this technology, you are like spineless people. Wallah, spineless Muslims. Most especially I'm talking about those who have come from the East. Whether you are an Arab or a Pakistani or a Bangladeshi or Indonesian, all spineless people. What you have done to me when I came here in 77, what are you doing to me now? I can see spineless people, emasculated people, castrated people. You have no spirit, no will, no energy, no militancy. I come in 77 and a lecture tour and I phone from New York to a station further west. Muslim habitation, population. I said, now I'm coming. He says, what will you lecture on? Such. I said, what the Bible says about Muhammad. It's a very good start. Very easy to get started about comparative religion, that, that subject. So right, according to the appointed time and date, I arrive. What have you advertised? They give me a pamphlet, not like this, but small leaf, what you call it, flyer. It says there, a prophet in the Bible. Ahmad Didad will speak on a prophet in the Bible. I said, you understand English, you university students, you monkeys, a prophet. I said, what is a prophet? You know what a means? You don't know. It means any prophet. A means any, it's indefinite article. It means any prophet in the Bible. There are some 75 mentioned here. Any one of those. Are you interested in any prophet in the Bible? Is the Christian interested in any prophet in the Bible? Is the Jew interested in any prophet in the Bible? No, your inferiority complex. I say, what the Bible, you too terrified to even write those words. Another group, I say, Muhammad the Greatest. When I go there, they address as Muhammad the Great. Equating my prophet with Alfred the Great, the guy who burned the cake. Or Alexander the Great, the pagan. What's wrong with you sick people? Emasculated. So the whole lot of you can see, I don't know. But Allah, in His mercy, He says, He says, do not despair. Do not be despair of the mercy of Allah. I would not be Muslim like if I did despair. But I said, there's something wrong with you people. You better wake up. Wallah, it's an opportunity Allah is giving you in this, in this time and age. In this age of technology, Allah has sent you here for reasons just known to you why you are here. But what an opportunity. They are thinking of making the Christians mouth water when they see you. Look, tonight the people are giving you literature. It's making the mouth water. You expatriates, you come here. This is man, this is good stuff. Easy stuff, easy meat. You are easy meat. They don't have to go to Malaysia, Indonesia, Bangladesh to preach. They can preach from their own place. They can sleep with the wife and children and they can come and preach to you. 
language. They don't have to learn your language, you have learned their language. Culturally, you are westernized. From every point of view, they feel that you are God sent to them. I said, yes, sir. you are God sent to do a job of work also. Change them! People who can worship anything, everything, why won't they will not accept Allah Bari Ta'ala? Why won't they? The reason is you don't open your mouth. You know why you don't open your mouth? You're too terrified. You're suffering from a host of inferiority complex. Get them out of you. Open the Quran. Read the Quran. Let Allah speak to you. <laughs> Allah will be good. Allow His book to touch the heart. Inshallah. Allow Allah to talk to you. And He's talking to you in the Quran. He's talking to you and me to every passerby in the street. Let Him talk to you. And you will not be able to sit on your backside doing nothing. Waiting for the other people to come and mess, make a mess of you. To use you as a punching bag. To use you as a doormat. To want to make mess in your head. Is that the wrong? Allah says no. Leave the hero who Allah is good. Wa kafa billahi shakrita. And in other Allah is a witness to this fact. That is going to make his deen to prevail. It's a privilege Allah is giving you. Take it. Wa akhul ta'wana. Alhamdulillahi.